So guys, I know it's, you know, during this war, you might be, you know, sitting inside your uh, bunk, inside your, you know, bomb shelter. And, you know, this is the situation I'm in right now. But it's like, I also can't, you know, I'm not supposed to put pressure on this leg. Because I tore my meniscus. So I'm doing, I'm almost putting no pressure. So, basically, I have crutches, right? And I walk around with the crutches. I'm just standing here right now without the crutches. But I'm leaning on my uh, left foot. So... I was going to say, you know, sometimes you might want to find a way to work out. Uh, I would say this is a pretty good way. I have the, ex for the cable, I use this extension for, I use them for my biceps and my triceps. And I carry it on with me when I go to the gym because it really helps. So I use that right now and I wrapped around this filter thing, I would say. And it's cemented into the wall, so it's not going anywhere. I put that over the top. It's tight. It's tight. You know, it's not going anywhere. You know, you're holding it with both sides, so it's safe. It's good. And then I have this band with these fat grips that I put on it. So I'm actually going to show you only right now when I need to work out. So what I do is this to try, try, try to not to lose muscle. I will set for from. I will usually wake up. Let's say 7:45. By eight, I'm doing 30. I'm doing 30 to 50 push-ups. Week one, I'm starting with 30. Week two, 40. Week three, 50. And it goes up by 10, right? So what I'm doing right now is 30 push-ups an hour. Regular push-ups. You could choose whatever you want. You could do, you know, this puts, I usually do it with one foot right now because I can't, again, put that weight on my leg, on my right leg. So what I'll do is I'll put that right leg and I'll let it rest on top of my left foot. And I will do regular push-ups or close grip, regular or close grip, it does not matter, trust me. Just do 30 clean reps. The reps have to be clean. You're not gonna be having your elbows out like that and doing, you know, what I, just shit. I, I don't wanna see shit work. And then what else you're gonna do, I'm just looking at the time for the camera. All right, good. I'm also talking like this right now because I have retainers in my mouth. If you don't notice, it's like I have a, you know. So what I was gonna say is basically 30 push-ups. Use this cable thing. You know, let's say you bang out your 30 push-ups, right? You do your 30 push-ups. Use this cable thing, and you start doing full rep pull-ups. I have enough room here. One, two, and I do 10, three. You know, I do that. And then I'll do, you know, I could, depends if it's arm day. Fat grips. I'm doing, I'm doing long, and these are hard to do. Like, believe me, if I walk far out enough, I'll probably get like at most five, six reps in this. It's hard, it's not easy. But I'm doing lightweight, you know, 10 to 15 reps. I would say 10 reps. Just get a pump out of it. Sometimes you might wanna do 12, go ahead. 15 might be a little bit even too much. So basically, what you're gonna do is, you do that, you can do tricep, you know, if you want to work specifically on tricep, tricep dips like that, right? Like this. One, two. You know, you could do bicep curls. If I walk out far enough, one, two. Really good, you know? And I'll do that, and that's my routine. So, this is going to sound a little crazy. But, again, I'm also hopping on my left foot. I'm doing polymetric work, plyometrics work with my left foot. So, I'm hopping on my left foot, which is good. And, I mean, that's really it. So... 12 hours a day, every hour, just 30 push-ups, and I do 10 pull-ups. That's it. That's my first set. Second set, in an hour, I do the same thing. Third set, I do the same thing. And now watch what I do. This is how my four sets going to change up. I eat breakfast around 8, 8.05. So... By 9.05, I'm quickly doing this already, you know. I eat bre It takes me probably like three minutes to eat breakfast really fast. I don't. I chew my food and stuff, but, you know, it takes me like three, four minutes. I, I have a very light breakfast, so, you know, I do that. And then what I would do is the hour or let's say there's one hour left in between the time you sit down and go to eat while you're here. We, okay. The last 30 minutes, I want you to do two sets of pull-ups, two sets of push-ups. 30 reps, push-ups, 10 reps, pull-ups. And then I would want you to do one set of the skull crushers. You know, 
10 reps, 12 reps. You don't, like I said, you don't need to do 15. You do that. You know, you feel a good burn. You feel a pump. Then you hop on your foot for about 30 seconds. Just hop. Plyometric. Just hop on your foot. It's actually good for your knee. You know, it's a good stabilizer. So do that very lightly, you know. Yes, very lightly. Not hard. Just do that. And you do that for two sets, right? Like I said, everything is two sets. The first set of skull crushers, like I said, you only do one. Because we're going to have a stronger workout, you know, after we eat lunch. But this is a little bit more intense than your regular, you know, 30 push-ups and one set of pull-ups every hour. This is a little more intense. You know, you're putting a little bit of strain on your body because for me, you know, it puts a little strain on my body. It gets, it gets me going. It really gets me going. And then... 10 minutes before lunch, just one more set of push-ups, one more set of pull-ups, and, and then I go to eat. After that, I do give myself an extra 30. So, like, let's say I have 30 minutes left. No, let's say sometimes I'm going to have 12 minutes left if it's not whatever. Again, you don't have to be crazy specific, but as long as you do these numbers of sets and exercises within your specific day... And that's why I say by the hour, it's, it's it's good. You know, you're giving your body equal time to rest. You don't want to be resting four hours and then trying to get in all your sets, you know, in like two sets at the end of your day. Like, you're probably not going to be able to do it. You're going to be exhausted because you do, you do 12 sets, you know, you do, no, you do 17 sets of pull-ups by the end of the day. 17 sets of pull-ups. That's a lot. And again, you're doing 17 sets of push-ups. You know, because what I didn't also mention, you're like, how is it 17 if you're just doing a set? I already said you're doing two sets within the 30 minutes you have left before lunch. What else do you got to know? And I'm going to explain that. What else do you have to know about that? Why does that add up to 17 sets? Because you're already including two extra sets. That's already 14. And then you're going to do three sets. You will be doing three sets. Two hours after lunch. The hour after lunch, you're still doing, you know, your one set of push-ups, one set of pull-ups. Two hours, though, when your food's all digested, you know, you feel a little empty. You go and you do three sets. Three sets. But the way you do them is...